Hey, what is up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here today. Um, really quick um, DVD uh, unboxing, I guess you can say, for uh, unveiling. Uh, I had this customly made for me from uh, a friend that I, uh, I picked up off of Facebook. Somebody that I'm hoping uh, to be getting more stuff from uh, throughout the years. Um, I've mentioned this in some uh, WCW videos uh, most uh, recently um, in my video. Um, talking about the uh, WCW home video collection that I, that I picked up um, a few months back. And I was saying the only thing that would have made that thing better was if they had the WCW all-nighters um, set on there. It was never released on, um, you know, VHS. But it was, a, it was a TV special that I remember. I was never able to actually stay up and watch the whole entire thing. If I remember right, it normally started on TBS um at like 11 o'clock at night and then it went um i believe till like five or six in the morning the next day it truly was an all-nighter if you could plan a slumber party around um some wcw action this was it they only did it twice once in 1994 once in 1995 um of course at the time turner owned tbs as well as owning uh, WCW, so it's basically the same company, so it's not like they really had to, you know, ask permission, uh, I guess you can say, to make the TV special, but I wish that we got something like this. Uh, back when um, there was WWE 24-7, um, if you can remember those days on your cable box, um, this was uploaded for a month one time, and then, then on the w, uh, WWE Network, it was once put up uh, in the vault section, um, and it didn't last long before they took it down. This was something that I, I never got a chance to watch since my original uh, watching, and it's not even really what I really remember it being. Uh, I'll tell you the truth. You don't need the all-nighter set if you have, like, the WWE Best of the Clash of the Champions. That's what this basically is. This is basically the Best of the Clash of the Champions um, two different sets. You will get the skits with Tony Schiavone, Bobby the Brain Heenan, uh, Tony Schiavone. Um, I said Tony Schiavone twice because I was trying to think of Larry Zabisco's name right there. But th they're pretty funny. Um, you can't find this really up uploaded anywhere online. Nobody's ever put it on to um, YouTube. There are a few of the skits. One where the brain falls asleep and they draw on his face. But um, this is a really, really nice set. You see the cover, whoever um, sets these things up really puts a lot of work uh, into, these, into these guys. And um, there's, there it is right there on one Blu-ray disc. Um, March 6th, 1994, January 21st, 1995. I'm um, pretty sure this is not all of the matches, um, but uh, the, the matches that are on here is the... Uh, Ric Flair versus Sting, NWA World Heavyweight Championship. Ric Flair versus Ricky Steamboat for the uh, World Heavyweight Championship. Lex Luger versus Ric Flair for the United States Championship. Ric Flair versus Terry Funk. Ric Flair and Sting versus The Great Muda and Terry Funk. Ric Flair and Barry Windham versus The Midnight Express. Uh, we've got Shane Douglas and Ricky Steamboat against the Hollywood Blondes for the NWA and WCW World Tag Team Championships. Um, Steve Austin versus Brian Pillman, the Road Warriors versus the Samoan SWAT team, the Enforcers versus Dustin and Rick, uh, Dustin Rhodes and Ricky Steamboat, and then Cactus Jack versus Van Hammer. Van Hammer on a best of DVD. Who would have ever thought? So um, I'm really really happy with this. Um, I think this is a, a real cool thing to add um, to my collection. Um, and I'm probably looking forward to adding more custom things like this. I, I know you've seen me putting these up over the last year with the uh, Coliseum home videos, WWE uh, home videos, WCW home videos. Um, I got the, uh, the um, Dark Side of the Ring sets. There was a New Generation Monday Night Raw set. So um, I think this is like the place to be right now getting the stuff that WWE Network and Peacock really isn't offering that you know is out there this is be really easy just to like put it up there 
um, things that are missing. I mean, you got to be thinking that something's got to be coming up with the new Monday Night Raw um, TV deal. And I think that that's probably going to be tied into the Peacock uh, WWE Network um, deal as well. In my personal opinion, I think it's cool that WWE is on Peacock because I can. I, I already know that I'm going to have Peacock because of the fact you know they've got The Office and they've got a bunch of other shows on there and some movies. But when it comes to like first run movies, like they're the best. They got like Fast X up on there right now. That feels like that was just in theaters not that long ago. Um, but um, you know. I don't understand. Why is the Hulkamania, like, all the different sets? Why is that not up there? That's just some Coliseum videos. Just rip them and put... I don't know how that, that side of the network works, but why not? I wish that the network would just go back to being run by WWE people and just... That's it. Over there. We're going to give you everything that you want. Peacock, they're not asking for anything else. Because they don't really know, I think, what's out there that's missing. And for wrestling fans that have had the network for 10 years plus, we know what we're missing. We liked it better over there. I mean, it's cool we can watch The Office, but we're probably going to have The Office already uh, with, with, with Peacock. Um, that's just me. Maybe it's not a po the, the most popular opinion, but I'm pumped to get it. Um, so right here. Easy, easy. But WCW all-nighter set. I can talk to you about this all night long.